Greetings, St. Paul's Church. Uh, we just completed the memorial service for Reverend Cindy Reynolds. And I don't know if you're able to look around the room, but uh, quite a few of our church members from St. Paul's showed up to honor her and to remember her. And uh, it, was, it was really great um, witnessing this service. It was not brief, it went two hours long, but it was very meaningful. I really felt like I got to know Reverend Cindy a little more and really see the life of service and that she lived and the investment that she made in so many people. One theme I kept hearing was how she really gave her time when she met with people. She would speak with them for hours and uh, really make an impact in their lives. And uh, I'm just so grateful for the impact she made on St. Paul's Church uh, and how I am reaping the fruit of the hard work and the seeds that she has sown. And uh, I want to just leave this video with some of the music that was done uh, with our choir and the choir here at Glen Ridge Congregational Church, uh, but also with some of the words that were shared uh, from our church members. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Selling some of her stuff. Um, and she had this beautiful giant lamp that uh, turns out was a collector's. Uh, and my stepmother collects that person and she was so mad because <laughs> I wouldn't sell it to her. And so it wound up being my plastic little table and my little cubicle that was like this high and then a lamp that had to shave the side of my torso and it was like a very short roof two inches away from one of the ceiling. It was beautiful. It was, I couldn't see where anyone was. It was just this wonderful little wall and I still have it I'm, whenever I move or whenever I find any space for it because I moved back in with my family. Uh, I will use it, um, but I just, lamp, that was my, I was like, I know what I'm going to say, it's lamp, so, thank you. Thank you. And she takes me aside a, a few years later, and she's like, so you're not an actual member of St. Paul, did you know that? And I was like, of course I am, I was, I was born in this church, I, my whole life has been in this church, and she reminded me that I had gotten my confirmation in Montclair, and I was technically a member there. So she brought me officially back into St. Paul's Church, um, and for that I'll be ever grateful. And, oh my goodness, let me get this out. Julia told me that our recording of Precious Lord Take My Hand was the last song that Cindy listened to. I have never been so stunned, or humbled, or even honored to hear anything else. I don't think I know anyone else who touched so many people that they had two memorial services. Wow. Um, St. Paul's Chancel Choir began today's service. Let me wrap this up. The piece called Let the Life I've Lived Speak for Me. Um, that piece is sung in honor of Cindy and in honor of our choir family member, Gwen Canfield, who we lost earlier this year. There is a line that we get to sing in that piece. Let the friends I have made speak for me. And I just want to thank you so much for letting me speak for Cindy.